like to take this opportunity to introduce a new team of ITU top management elected or re-elected by Plenary Potential Conference 2018 held in Dubai from 29th of October 2018 until 16th November 2018. As many of you already heard, this is a very successful meeting. We have wonderful preparations by our members, by our regional organization who help us to coordinate on the regional level of common positions to facilitate our discussion. And we also had three weeks there, but we did not have much trouble to find agreement for those important issues. We managed to get our strategic planning, financial plans, and almost uh, all the major uh, points finally agreed by everybody. And in addition to all these uh, uh, tasks we managed to complete, we also get uh, uh, elections successfully uh, completed. So I think that uh, all my colleagues agree with me that uh, with your wonderful support to this uh, organization, by electing us or re-electing us again to lead this organization for the next four years with very clear support from all of you, and clear confidence for all of you. So we are very happy with the result of PP 2018. And of course, we fully understand the challenges in front of us. And ITU announced that uh, on the 10th of December uh, 2018, that uh, today, after a decade of efforts, uh, the whole population already enjoyed uh, the new technologies, including uh, 4G, 3G, 4G, internet, and then, you know, mobile penetrations, mobile phone penetration is much higher than 100% uh, at global level. And even internet connections is already reached 50%. So it's a really great achievement of our human being and human society. And we're very pleased with the result. Of course, ITU will continue to make efforts to work with our members, member states, sector members, in particular industry members, to develop new technologies such as 5G, Internet of Things, smart cities and uh, cloud computing big data to continuous efforts to offer better communication technologies to our people, to offer better communication service to our people so that everybody will enjoy the benefit of ICT for their future. But we're also aware, although 50% already announced be connected online, but still another 50% not connected yet. And just imagine if we connect those not connected yet, 50%, to enjoy the ICT benefit, the world will be completely changed. So we are aware of these challenges, but to connect those not connected yet will not be the easy task for us. Because for those connected, we have a public or private investment. For those not connected yet, there's not much profit for investment. Now how can we connect them? Which way we connect them? Not leave everybody behind, anybody behind? Uh, we need more efforts. We have to create a better environment. We have to create the good policy to attract investment, mainly from private sector. So there are a lot of uh, challenges, and ITU uh, is uh, fully aware of these challenges. We like to take a profit of your great confidence to the new management to work with you to improve the situation. And this year, you know, ITU we have, uh, as usual, a lot of uh, main activities, uh, but the most important uh, conference of the ITU for uh, communication 
technologies will be the World Radio Conference to be held in Shamashink of Egypt towards the end of this year. And this is a very important conference for everybody, not only for ITU members, but for everybody, where we will decide 5G standard. We will decide our strategy to allocate proper spectrum to allow industry to use the new technologies, to allow everybody, I mean the other ecosystems, to use our technologies of 5G to improve their services. And in addition, this year, I see also a very special year for ITU. That is the 70th year of uh, ITU joining UN family. Although ITU is much older than UN, and we enjoyed 153 years history, and uh, while UN is only 71 years. And we joined uh, UN formally 70 years, 70 years ago. And this year is also a special year, 50 years, for IDU to launch our World Telecommunication Standardization, World Telecommunication and Information Society Day. Since 1969, we launched that one. We are very happy to see that the whole family of the planet uh, joined us to celebrate the ICT achievement on the 17th of May. So this year is uh, somehow a very special year. Of course, this year is the first year of the, the team here for the next four years. So we will try our best to work with you. And we, we had a lot of support from you over the last uh, four years, over the last uh, 150 years. And uh, we got uh, your support to put us here today at our plenary potential conference 2018. So we are grateful with your support, and we will not make you disappointed. And we will try our efforts to continue to improve our transparency, efficiency, and effectiveness. And uh, we are aware of our limited financial resources, you know, human resources, but I think that we will be able to, you know, to make achievement and we will not let you disappointed. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that uh, this is uh, great. That is the beginning of this year, and uh, our ambassadors are very busy with many activities. But uh, you still find time to join us. Latest uh, arrival ambassador is from UK. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyhow, <coughs> maybe he's busy with uh, some kind of important development in London last night. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> We welcome him to join us. And you are all busy, very busy, but you find time to join us. That is another latest proof that you support us. We will not make you disappointed. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that this is my message to my diplomat friends, of course, for IT staff, that we achieved a lot with the strong support from IT staff. And IT staff is IT's assets. And if ITU's uh, work was appreciated by IT family by the vote to me for my second term, by the vote to my colleagues here. That is because they voted for wonderful support from our staff. Without our staff, nothing can be achieved. Without uh, those kind of work marvelous done by ITU with the staff, I think that we will not be able to enjoy those kind of uh, uh, you know, honor to be at the top level positions. And we look forward to good cooperation with uh, IDU staff for the next four years. I think that uh, after PP, I heard a lot of uh, good comments from our colleagues that they are very happy with PP18. They are very happy with what we have done so far. but publicly, clearly appreciated by our members. So they also told me that they would like to work with the new management for the next four years. So we count on you, IT colleagues, for the next four years. Uh, I think that uh, now it's my turn, my duty to introduce the members on the podium to our 
diplomat uh, colleagues. Of course, you know him, Malcolm Johnson, my deputy uh, since uh, 2015, and he was uh, re-elected at the PP18. He's from UK, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, towards the other side, is uh, Mr. Chesap Lee from Korea. And he was uh, uh, reconfirmed by uh, your, your, your confidence <coughs> to re-elect him. So this side, three are re-elected. <laughs> so that uh, is some kind of uh, uh, relatively easy side at the PP18. Uh, and from uh, my left-hand side, I think that uh, uh, this is the first lady in ITU 153 years history to be sitting on the podium <laughs> of the leadership. Thank you very much. So uh, like you, I was uh, very pleased to see that uh, IT management uh, now welcome uh, lady members at the top of IT management. And uh, we, I think that uh, we will benefit a lot with his participation at this uh, table so that uh, the gender issues uh, should be greatly improved uh, in the next years to come. And, uh, ITU is one of uh, a few uh, UN agencies and a few international organizations where you know, we can have uh, lady members of top management who help us to further improve the gender issues. Of course, uh, Madam Bokta Doring's election is not because she was lady. And uh, I think that her uh, excellent uh, professional experiences uh, within ITU over the last uh, two decades. And uh, her work uh, in the uh, US administration uh, prior to her joining ITU uh, all gave her a good uh, a chance to take care of those uh, strategically important issues uh, over the last uh, uh, two decades. But anyhow. I think that uh, he, she's uh, uh, very keen to do the diplomatic, uh, not I mean the development job. So we will invite her to say a few words afterwards. Then another one is the latest uh, uh, born, uh, you know, elected uh, members of uh, management, that uh, Mario Menewich from uh, Uruguay, and uh, he's not new to ITU family because he was a deputy to the director of the Radio Communication Bureau for quite uh, five years. And before that, uh, he was also senior staff in ITU to take care of uh, development uh, uh, issues in the development bureau. And before, at the early time, uh, his uh, career in ITU, he was uh, a senior staff uh, in the ITU's American Regional Office based in Brazil. So he has worked uh, with ITU already for almost uh, 30. 30 years, huh? a little bit uh, shorter than my, my time. Uh, and he is now the director of uh, Radio Communication Bureau, replacing Francois Rancy. And uh, this is a very challenging year to him because he will have to work without losing any time to take care of uh, the forthcoming meeting of uh, World uh, Radio Conference, and it's a very important meeting. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that these are our five uh, officials uh, introduced to you. Let me give you a very small secret. According to ITU's uh, uh, official document, uh, in ITU we have five elected officials and five uh, uh, positions. Normally, I start with the Secretary General, followed by Deputy Secretary General. Then if we have any official communications in the, some press conference, then it's a radio communication bureau first, a month three, followed by telecommunication standardization bureau. And then last, of course, not least, 
that is the development bureau. And then uh, over the last few years, we had the problems to, 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 to make our teams in a proper order so that we also consider that uh, for pragmatic reasons, we put the three directors in the order according to their bone, the time where they elected for the so-called seniority. So if you consider that one, this time that uh, Chesap Lee is reconfirmed uh, of uh, his uh, second term, so he should be the first after Deputy Secretary General. Then followed by Madam Bok Doring, because uh, she was uh, elected afterwards. And then last, of, of course not least, is Mario, is the last uh, born, last elected members. But anyhow, and we consider that uh, it's absolutely important that uh, to show that uh, ITU is uh, really supporting the gender issues and inviting everybody <coughs> to know that uh, we have a lady uh, management members. So that uh, we, you know, kind of agreed by Chester Lee to put uh, uh, Doreen immediately following uh, Deputy Secretary General, uh, that uh, he took uh, the side position there. But anyhow, that is, uh, again, another good proof of uh, team spirit and a good uh, proof that the IT support gender issues.